it's fun to hang just hang out and talk shit on movies but like i think people just take it a little bit too seriously and maybe we are talking about yeah. it but it's just interesting to look at how um criticism in general like affects the way that we look at movies mm-hmm. because w- whether you like it or not if you're participating in these platforms and these places where people are sharing their opinions that informs what you think of movies one way or another. So it's constantly molding you in different directions. And when the conversation doesn't necessarily reward like intelligent analysis or just even a fun environment, because everything just kind of becomes like anything else on the internet, like a, a battle it's just like, is that the best thing for the way that we watched movies in general? Probably not. No, yeah, well, that's the... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, that's the main thing I kind of wanted to talk about with this, is that due to the weird film culture, uh, uh, weird so from Siskel and Ebert on review culture of thumbs downs and like big and riffing teardowns and all this shit, and I, I enjoy a lot of that stuff. I'm not going to pretend I'm above yeah. it in any way. <laughs> I, I watched all that channel awesome content, man. I'm a degenerate. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but, yeah, no, we don't want to act like we were not at any point participatory in these things. No. It's just we're looking at these things in retrospect. Yeah, no, I'm super, super a participant. But I just, I just like want to talk about the fact that other stuff does not have this culture. Um, music, no. music. While well, there's music critics and there's, uh, you know, but but, but the people who just turn on the radio don't try to like put in like uh, strong takes about every song no. they hear. You d- you don't know of many people that are like discussing Pitchfork yeah. amongst themselves and Robert Christgau. No, and that's. That's a much smaller, more niche community among, like, just, like, the most dedicated music fans. But film criticism is so much bigger. Yeah, yeah. And it it leads to this weird thing where people on the internet seem to, like, do, like, be racing to prove first that they are smarter and better than the people who made the movie. (laughs) And, yeah. Like, and I, like, we shit on stuff. I'm not, you know, but I feel like we try at least to be like, oh, yeah, there's actually some fun stuff in Jack in the Box that's pretty cool and worth looking at or whatever. And it's not just us going, here's a list of supposed plot holes or whatever. <laughs> and, and, like, those are, like, the lowest criticism you can have of something. is like a... Or just assuming that, like, an element of something in a movie is inherently bad, and then just writing off things based it just solely on that. Yes. Like, a meta-humor bad Deadpool is bad. Bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's, it's like, people, you know, it, it's in this culture where people are, like, fighting movies. And that's why so many movie podcasts are called, like, I fucking despise film. <laughs> <laughs> I shitted and pissed on my DVD copy, and we do that every episode, the podcast. Yeah. That's a weird, like, fucking hurricane of, like, negativity. Yeah. 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 Like, in, again, it's like, yes, we shit on things, uh, but... As you said, Aaron, I think that we have a good balance to where we can, you know, point out flaws, but also point out, you know, uh, benefits or good parts of movies. I'm sure we have our own issues, uh, but it's like, it's just shocking to me. And I I, I think it stemmed, yeah, like, it's there in Siskel and Ebert, and then it's there in the angry, Angry Reviews, and it's there in the Star Wars prequel Red Letter Media Reviews. It's just this combativeness where it's like yeah. everything I see, I have to be like at war with it. Where it's like if it has been, <laughs> if, if it makes a mistake, I got to jump on that shit. Or if it's something I like, it's my entire identity and it signals something about me that shows whether or not I'm a good person. Yes. <sighs> and it's like, it's just a fucking movie. Like, and, and I, we, <laughs> we want to make stuff, like, and do make some stuff. And we, like, you know, talk about movies on a podcast and we're critical and all of that. But it's like, at the end of the day, this is just a way to talk to each other about the thing we fucking like. And we, you know, we, we're, we just enjoy film. 
films. And we watch bad stuff not just to be like, oh, this is awful, but they have, like, interesting qualities to them. And it's like... It's why we think about filmmakers and shit. is because we, we like to see the connections between stuff. And it's not just a race to, like, point out a mistake. And, like, th- the cinema yeah. and stuff's brutal with that. Because, and a lot of similar critics... Because it's like like Prometheus. Prometheus has logical problems that are real. <laughs> that that's like the uh, that's like the quintessential oh absolutely uh, movie that everyone shits on for reasons I can't understand. Yeah, like the characters act kind of dumb in like a not, in a way that's not like insane compared to other movies. But they no they, no. But but they do act stupid. It's true. But. Um, I remember seeing a lot of plot hole point outs back in, when the movie came out. Like, before I saw it, where it was just people like, oh, this doesn't make sense or whatever, and, like, shitting on it. And then I was like, oh, okay, this must be a stinky poo movie. And I saw it, and I went, oh, wait, the movie explained those things. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah. Or- <laughs> like... Yeah, or like, oh, this has like really interesting visuals oh, yeah. and is made pretty Incredible well. Incredible technical it has like, <laughs> Yeah, cool sci fi. It's it's like. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. but they just didn't bring it up because it wasn't a flaw that could be their hot take. Yeah, like, they're, they're, right. I remember specifically there's this one where people. Um, there's a scene where a woman gets impregnated basically by the alien and she has like a. It, a like a cesarean done basically and like pulls the baby out she she goes into this um medical tube thing and it's and it's like she asks for it to do that procedure and then it's like well oh, we, we're not built for women and people were like wait a minute that tube is in a female character's room that must mean that the writer is a moron who didn't remember that that's where that is and that she'd have a tube built for women but but the twist in the movie is that there's a old man hiding in there that's who the tube's <laughs> yeah. for it's foreshadowing yeah yeah a lot of a lot of just the open ability to say anything you want about anything is that it's just it's intellectually dishonest and lies just become realities in people's heads. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, and it, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It, just, it just leads to a really whack culture that doesn't exist with other media. I mean, games are getting it now, but, uh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, it's, it's just, I don't know, man. It's, criticism has become really, really strange with the internet. Yeah, but the bottom line is to just be critical of critics i guess (laughs) just look at it and understand that these are people with distinct opinions that are their own and they're not some sort of consensus all correct word on anything and just because you think like you find them funny on the internet doesn't mean you should take too much you shouldn't invest too much in what they have to say about things because maybe they're funny online but maybe their taste is completely different from yours and that's okay like if we think opinions are rank that's one thing lying about stuff like in prometheus is bad so just think about these things are people could someone be dishonest about something are they you know recutting this in a way that's manipulative look for things that line with what you like and might be actually informative to what you enjoy or even just find people that you like that you disagree with and then you can also you know as a thought exercise see the other side of things but just the thing is (laughs) don't take it too seriously no matter what that's a big ask she got a great ass (laughs) <laughs> asking people to find people with different opinions and and uh, yeah and have have a constructive conversation with them about yeah why that's they the didn't problem like the thing you like is is like we said everything is a war and that's why it's nice to watch things like red letter media where it's a conversation between people and they disagree with each other but they don't like you know beat each other up and fake or real and bring out like lightsabers that are painted green because it's their favorite color <laughs> at, on the hilt and 
So yeah, just look for smart stuff. I it would really help a lot too. Yeah, stuff that is informed and comes from a place of information is always good. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and just you know, just get a a wider breath and look at stuff, and maybe try to look at things not only from like what mistakes it may or may not have, but like aesthetic sensibilities or or just other elements that you might connect with. And try to find other stuff that's like that. And, you know, you'll kind of just get into things that way. I think that's what we all did to some degree. Definitely. It's just a minefield. It's just a minefield of uh, (laughs) intellectualism. So just be careful out there, is all we're saying. And just a reminder, we are the best critics. And we are always (laughs) correct. Our IQs are very high. And we're always funny. (laughs) Oh, yes. Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do like Rick and Morty. That's how smart we are. Yeah, yeah we have an average IQ on the podcast of 198. <laughs> and uh, we registered the we registered our brand with Mensa. We're official partners. I thought it was thought it was 200, but no, and then you pull us down a little mm-hmm. bit, but. <laughs> <laughs> You you asked him for it. You asked him for that. Emma. Yeah. No, I set it up, seeing who would bite, and then was gonna shit on whoever did, and Evan did. 